Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to stain foo. Here is what you'll need. A stack of white cotton terry towels. A dull metal spoon. Please do not use plastic. A spray bottle of stained food. And optionally, something heavy like a brick or a book. Always follow label directions. You'll want to test stained foo in an inconspicuous area first. Shake the bottle well. Using your dull metal spoon, scrape up any liquids or solids and discard. Adjust the spray nozzle. Unscrewing the nozzle away from you will cause a jet action, which may help agitate the spot just a little bit more. Spray stain foo right on the spot, being sure to fully penetrate but not soak the area. The white bubbles that you see are the oxidizers doing their job by helping break down the spot. Then agitate lightly with your dull metal spoon. Please never rub or scrub your carpeting as it may disrupt the fibers permanently. Wait 5 to 10 minutes for stain food to fully penetrate and break up the spot or stain. It's always best to use clean white towels. If you fold it twice, you will have 8 clean sides to work with. Now, blot up the spot or stain with your white towel, being sure to use a clean side. If the spot or stain is still there, go ahead and repeat the steps that you just did. The stain or spot should now be gone. For spots or stains that are deep into the nap, sometimes it's best to fold up towels and place a heavy book or brick over top of it and let it dry overnight. Over time, persistent spots and stains will wick into the towel. And just like that, the spotter stain should be long gone. And that's how you stain food.